In another step forward in advanced technology, all 1981 Chevrolets equipped with gasoline engines will feature the remarkable new computer command control system. This system reduces exhaust emissions to the lowest level in Chevrolet's history. While at the same time, our objective is to strive for the highest average fuel economy in Chevrolet Motor Division history. The heart of the system is a reliable microprocessor, an onboard computer that continually monitors information from as many as six sensors on throttle position, manifold vacuum, oxygen readings, engine temperature, engine speed, and vehicle speed. The computer then processes this information and makes adjustments to as many as six different systems, such as the carburetor fuel system, the ignition system, the transmission converter clutch, and the emission control systems. Making thousands of calculations per second, the computer command control system is adjusting the engine as you drive. In fact, the computer can actually make up to 10 carburetor adjustments per second, allowing the carburetor to be precise in maintaining the proper balance of fuel and air entering the cylinders. And the system automatically adjusts the timing as engine parts wear. It also compensates for changes in altitude and barometric pressure. That means cars start quickly, run smoothly. The system is so well designed that it and other emission control systems are backed by a five-year, 50,000-mile warranty. And it's self-diagnostic. A service technician, using the instrument panel warning light, a voltmeter, and the repair manual, can easily service the computer command control system. From now on, you'll activate a computer when you step on the gas. Chevrolet is working hard to bring you a great combination, clean air and good gas mileage. For 1981, all conventional rear-wheel drive gasoline-powered Chevrolets with automatic transmission are equipped with a torque converter clutch. The torque converter is a very important and integral part of every automatic transmission because it transfers and multiplies engine torque. A torque converter spins and it is this spinning that generates torque and power multiplication. This spinning is desirable for quick acceleration or when passing slower moving vehicles, both high torque requirements. When the vehicle reaches a specific speed in high gear, the torque requirements are low. The torque converter clutch automatically couples the torque converter into a one-to-one -one ratio. The action provides a direct mechanical linkage between the drive shaft and the engine, thus preventing fuel-wasting slippage. 